Right, so um, definitely thank you for that. But as we take a look at your radar, not a lot to talk about. In fact, really dry across the entire southeast and much of the country. Just not a whole lot of active weather on this Saturday, which no complaints here. We do have some clouds streaming through, but that's about it. And as for your temperatures, it's 50 in Chattanooga, 40 in Charlotte. So had a bit of a cold air wedge in the Carolinas, keeping temperatures a little bit cooler. But for us locally, generally we're in the mid to upper 40s here. Murphy, the cool spot at 42, 47 in Cleveland and 46 degrees in Altamont. And here's a look at some of your Skywatcher reports. It was a very nice day across the Tennessee Valley. Many of us started off in the 20s and rose into the 50s. Doug and Delano had 52. Cindy and Riceville at 50. 47 atop lookout or signal mountain. It was 45 on lookout, so a little bit cooler. 51 here in North Chattanooga and Johnny and Wrinkle calling in with 49 degrees. Ben in Somerville. 53 down in Chattooga County. So it was a very nice day for us, especially after that cold start. And then as we continue for the rest of your evening, the clouds will disperse. There will be a bit of a disturbance off to our south and east. That's going to bring some showers into the Carolinas, but that's going to stay well off to our east. So we're not going to have to deal with any rain and the clouds will gradually break during the afternoon. So we'll have some sunshine later in the day and Sunday and those winds pick up from the south. That's going to bring in that warm air from the Gulf of Mexico. And guess what? Temperatures back to the 60s. 60s for your Sunday and that'll set the tone for much of next week. In fact, by Monday we'll have plenty of sunshine as high pressure continues to build in and it is going to be a very warm day for us. And then as we go into late Monday and Tuesday, some more cloud cover starts to build in and then we'll be tracking our next system well to our west, but it does look like that's going to hold off until about the middle of the week. So we could have a shower or two during the day on Wednesday. Best chance of rain going to be late Wednesday night into your Thursday and then some lingering showers possible Friday into Saturday, maybe even a mountain flurry or two Saturday morning. That's something we'll kind of track out. Of course, that's still a week away, but we'll certainly keep you updated on the latest. But check these temperatures out. More typical of what you would expect for late March, maybe even early April, as temperatures are going to be pretty much in the mid to upper 60s. I wouldn't be completely surprised, especially if we get some sunshine on Wednesday, if a few areas here across the Tennessee Valley push close to 70 degrees. So it is going to be very warm next week, and then we'll start that cool down by the weekend as temperatures revert back to the 40s. But the overall pattern trend still favoring warmer than normal temperatures through the middle of the month for much of the East Coast, and that's really been the trend much of the winter. But hey, we're only 44 days away from spring, even though it's going to feel like spring pretty much all of next week. Just something to be mindful of. But for tonight, we will fall back into the mid 30s, mostly cloudy skies. Some areas could drop back below freezing. Athens at 31 by tomorrow morning, 29 in Murphy, 34 in Dalton, and 34 in Altamont with mostly cloudy skies and southwesterly winds at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then tomorrow, back to the 60s we go. It's going to be a very nice Sunday just to be out and about here across the Tennessee Valley, about 10 degrees warmer than today. And we're going to keep that warming trend rolling right in the next week with rain chances Thursday into Friday, Cornelia.